Journey is one hell of an experience, even though that experience may only last you an hour and 25 minutes, at least that's how long it took me to beat the game. I think one of the biggest reasons why it is so memorable is because the soundtrack is absolutely incredible. I mean, let's face it, anybody who's played Journey, there's not a ton going on when you're playing the game essentially a lot of it at the beginning you half of it anyway you're kind of placed in like this desert oasis that feels very serene and then about the second half of the game you're more placed into like an icy world but all of it is leading towards climbing up to this top of this mountain consider it more like uh, mount everest there's no really story here there's no characters uh, you do see these kinds of, uh, like, I don't know if they're prophets or something like that, but there's, like, these six dudes in, like, these, uh, long, uh, capes and stuff like that, and... Uh, it seem they seem to be guiding you towards this mountain and trying to guide you to safety But don't worry. You're not you're never at risk of dying like these giant centipede monsters that even if they hit you 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 can't die and I got hit by them a few times Even though they use like spotlights to try to seek you out and then once they find you their spotlight turns to red and then it's at, at that point where I the first time anyway I thought I was gonna instantly die. I thought he was gonna instantly kill me I don't think you can die in this game. I, I really don't. And I've gotten, like I said, hit by these things a few times, but somehow just kept pushing forward. It's not really what this game is about. It's not really about, uh, you know, like dying or... Uh, or it might be about dying. I don't know. It, I think this is more meant to mimic the journey of life, right? You, you start off in these uh, this giant sand-like world where anything is possible. and But you have like this one prime goal, this one prime mission, and you just keep pushing towards it. And you just get people along the way to kind of help you or try to pick you up and lift you up to that next level. And that's kind of what the banners feel like. And there's like these playing cards or something. I don't know. They look like playing cards to me. But you essentially use those to kind of lift yourself up and to get up to the like next uh, sp like stone pillar or uh, like the next section of the game or whatever it might be. And you have to stick with it, otherwise if you kind of fall away, you start to fall down. Which, yeah, this game just is an absolute perfect metaphor for life. I mean, there's no difficulty, there's, there's, it's just a game. It's just a game, and it's not meant to be extremely long. I think when the developers were making this, and it's the same developers who made the game Flower, which I haven't played, but I've seen clips from it. It does feel a lot like what Journey feels like. All the while, you can also run into other players who might be playing this game online as well, and then at the end of the game, it kind of tells you who you might have encountered along your journey. And, uh, you know, who knows? I'm sure there's people that have made, like, lifelong friends from this game alone. But the developer is called That Game Company. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty, it's a pretty dope name. Uh, but yeah, they made also outside the flower. They also made a game called flow and Honestly, I just I'm looking forward to seeing what they do next if journey is anything. It's it's art It's art in video games. This this is what I when I think of art in video games I think of like the arc deco style of a Bioshock but I also think about when you see a, a drawing or a painting or something like that in an art museum and it makes you feel a certain way or you see a uh, see a painting uh maybe as as the artist wanted you to see it but somebody might see something completely different and i think that's the biggest thing with this game is everybody's gonna have a, the same or similar experience but have their own takeaways from it i played it uh, through my playstation plus membership so the game is free with playstation plus but I'm sure a lot of people had played this game and 
I'm, I'm interested to know if you have played Journey, what did you think of it? What was the thing that you took away from this game after you completed it? Let us know in the comments down below and also down below you'll find the description where me and my brother Rocky's all our socials are located as well as links to our all other channels including movie sessions, including smoking sessions, which are both in a similar vein to uh, our gaming sessions channel here and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like and don't forget to hit subscribe hit the bell for notifications and thank you so much for watching and or listening to this video and we will see you all in the next gaming sessions Just to open up a newer car